this is Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art, and these are two cards that I made using the Clarity Stencils brushes. They come in a box of four. Um, you can tell they graduate in size. I'm not exactly sure what makes these so different, except that I've used stencil brushes in the past where you kind of pounced the color in, and with these, you brush the color, and you really end up with this really pretty, um, you get the gradations of the color. It's, it's just, they're quite lovely. Um, I had a lot of fun doing these cards and I'm going to show, um, how they work, how these Clarity stencil brushes work. For, for this one, you can see I used a heart stencil and I created my own stencils because I found that if I used stencils where the shapes were close together, I kind of made a mess with my brush. So you might be, you know, <laughs> neater than I am, but I really needed uh, stencils that had um, a lot of space around them. As you can see this one where I created uh, just using a, um, a circle die, this. And I then used um, some smaller punches to create the other ones that you'll see here in a minute. Um, this was a lot of fun to do, and I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. So, um, this card is the one I'm going to focus on the most here. Um, the image is a printable from my uh, blog, and I'll have all that linked. But let's start with the stencils and ink and clarity uh, stencils brushes. So, um... I've already cut a panel, and if you decide to use this particular image, this is a five and a half by six inches, and I used a large oval die cut out that would accommodate the image um, when it's shown from the inside. All right, so let's get started here. I am using um, some Simon Says Stamp inks. I'm starting with a rosy cheeks, and I just selected colors that um, were in the image itself. So some light pink, hot pink, yellow, and blue are basically what I stuck with here. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to how I added uh, stencils. I just randomly put them on. So um, I'm going to start up here um, with this rosy cheeks, and I'm just going to brush ink onto the stencil brush and then hold the uh, stencil in place and brush the ink into the circle stencil. It will start out very light and you will just reapply ink and keep working it until you're happy with the color. Now the lighter the ink, the longer it will take and also the larger the stencil, the, the more uh, times you'll have to apply the ink, the smaller the circle, it, it goes really quickly. Um, so anyway, you're just going to uh, keep applying ink until you like the color. It allows you to have some control over how dark it gets, which I like. Um, so there is our first circle. And I just applied um, circles here and there. I'm going to um, apply the light pink, the rosy cheeks, and the hollyhock color, and then I will come back and show you how I cleaned. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to clean in between these two colors, so let me do that, and then I will come back and show you how I clean and change colors. Okay, so I'm applying the last of the hollyhock here. You'll want to, um, if you have a die cut space, you'll want to put some over the edge and also off the side of the edge of the card like, like this one down here. Okay, so um, now that I've done the two pinks and I'm ready to move to the other colors, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. Now, I'm not sure if this is exactly, you know, the way you're supposed to do it, but it worked really well for me. I just used a baby wipe and wiped the color several times onto the baby wipe to kind of get rid of the color. Now, it still looks like it's on there, but to make sure that it's not going to be coming off into my next color, went ahead and um, 
use a paper towel as well to dry it off. And I also found out that if I didn't go ahead and kind of dry the bristles a little bit, that I would get some, some more bleeding. And sometimes that's okay, um, but that's not quite what I was looking for this time around. Okay, so once I have it cleaned, I'm ready to change to my next color. Um, let's do some yellow here. Now, one thing that I did notice is that sometimes um, the color will come off of what I've already put on there, and that can be just fine. You can also use the other side. I didn't have too much trouble with this coming off on my card, um, but also I don't really mind if I got a little bit of pink in there. So um, again, I'm just going to kind of hang this off the edge and load my brush and then just uh, brush it in until I'm happy with the color. And this doesn't take quite as long as that light pink because it's a little bit darker. So there it is already, ready to go. And it's nice and pretty. Um, so let me continue with um, the yellow and the blue and I will um, speed this up for you so um, it doesn't take as long to finish. So um, I've done all of the dots and it's just a random pattern. You know, I'd also see that sometimes I um, overlapped a couple of them uh, just to have some interest. So you can see that these are work gorgeously. I just, I love how, the, how it turns out. Um, so let's um, move on to the actual making of the, of the card in case you want to use this image and this idea. Um, if you go to my blog and print this off, it will look like this. Um, and all you have to do is um, cut the puppies out to fit the circle. So kind of figure out where you want them to show. And then use your paper cutter to trim along the sides. And you're going to leave, let me show you one that I've already cut, you're going to leave the top because that's where you're going to score and fold it to uh, glue it to the top panel. So this is what you'll end up with and you'll fold it down and here glue on this tab and glue the panel to the front. Now, it's uh, before you do that, make sure you look at this because this is a little bit long. So after scoring and folding, I'm going to go ahead and trim that off just a little bit, then add my glue and, and top it with the panel. Right, let me show you the finished one here. Let me open this up and you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, there's that tab right there and that's how the, it's been glued to the back panel, okay? Um, I'm calling this an outside in card because normally you might see an image on the outside of the card, but I think it's really cool how you can peek through and it becomes part of the inside of the card. I think that's a lot of fun. And it's accented with this um, die cut from Lawn Fawn, which I think is really cute. All right, and then the front is decorated with the Celebrate that, you, that also comes with the uh, printable from my blog. And I had some vintage candles that I just tied some ribbon around and, and uh, added a button with twine. So that's all there is to this card. And I hope you enjoyed the um, Clarity stencil brushes. And I thank you for joining me. You can always find me at shushupaperart.com. <music>